The order screen is center stage. Here we can see the actual work that has been approved so far. The customer's name, vehicle details, and phone numbers are always visible above the tabs. Revision provides separate workspace to work up prices on additional work. History provides access to previous service visits, making it easy to refer back to see what work was performed on this vehicle before. The current state of the document is shown here. Typically this starts off as estimate with a temporary number because not everything quoted turns into actual work. When it does, this indication will change to repair order or approved RO depending on your system settings. Clicking on parts, labor, or sublet notes provides access for one-time entries. Each of these is detailed further in other video clips. The symptom screen allows you to speak the customer's language, get something in writing for your diagnostic time, and get your customer on their way. Set the symptoms window to pop up every time an estimate or order is started. If you don't need the symptoms this time, just press escape and they're out of your way. Jobs and part kits are provided to speed up your processes with prepackaged combinations of parts and labor. Promos provides access to the options within packages and discounts. The discounts tab provides access to discount coupons, all of which are detailed in other video clips. Clicking on Estimator opens a new window that is full screen but can be resized by double clicking on the title bar which now also includes the year make model with engine details along with the current mileage. It opens on the Labor tab with a Categories display and a search box above. Click on the Parts tab to look up OEM parts. Click Add and Transfer to get selected items onto the order screen. Clicking on Maintenance opens a new window displaying the types of maintenance scheduled services that are available for this model. Clicking on Fluids opens a new window as well. Fluid types and capacities are organized by category with a search option. As you can see, selections can also be made within Maintenance, Labor, Parts just by switching the tabs in this window. Clicking on TSBs opens a new window for checking on technical service bulletins for the selected vehicle. These are organized by service category and a search function is also provided to find what you're looking for. The written by can be set to a default service writer name in setup shop data so that it doesn't need to be filled in each time. Promise time is another shop data default settings item designed to fill in for you. This of course can be overwritten as needed. The hat number is used once per order. Typically this is the number on the paper tag hanging from the mirror if those are in use. The reference number is specific to this single order and is useful for purchase orders if you have a customer who supplies them for each repair. When their balance due statements are printed, the reference numbers are included, making it easier for them to reconcile. Odometer in accuracy is crucial to creating solid business data that can be used in marketing and follow-up efforts. There is a setting in the Shop Data Screen View tab named Enforce Mileage. This is to ensure that the mileage is always entered. This is also a password protected area so it cannot be turned off if so enabled. Odometer out can be considered optional if not required by your state. The mileage recorded on last visit appears as previous odometer. The source field is used to track how this order came to be written. It may have been your website, a CRM coupon, radio ad, or something along those lines. This data is recorded when the invoices are posted and the performance and value of each entry can be tracked in the Referral Invoice Sources Report. Total Hours provides a fast at-a-glance reading of how many labor hours are included in this currently selected order. Row Color Definitions are provided to decode the color scheme used on order grid lines.